Hey, my name's Robert Garrett, and this is the Cord Cutter's Guide to YouTube TV. So about 11 years ago, I cut the cord, I cut direct TV, I cut cable, and I went to antennas. I went full antennas and then things like Hulu and Netflix and uh, different streaming services. But today I want to talk to you about how YouTube TV can be your cord cutting solution. Um, so you, I made a video on YouTube a long time ago, about 11 years ago, that's got about a half million views that told people how to set up antennas at their home. And today what I want to do is walk through all the solutions for YouTube TV and whether or not you're even a candidate for using YouTube TV in your home. So the main consideration if you're thinking about going to YouTube TV is just pure internet speed in your home, right? So you've got to have a fast network connection. And I'm not talking super fast, but when you run a speed test, you'd like to see 30 down or more. And so I'm going to show you real quick, I'm going to run a speed test at my home and I want you to see kind of the speed that I'm getting because when you and your family all start watching TV on the internet, because you're, you, you're leveraging with YouTube TV, your network connection to watch TV, right? That's one of the reasons it's cheaper because there's no infrastructure for YouTube to come install. They don't have to come put a satellite dish. The cable guy doesn't have to come hook up cable. So literally you're just leveraging your internet connection so that you can watch TV on your device. One of the things I would recommend is that you go find the router in your home as you can see here, I've got the Apple Airport Extreme, and I would take your phone and put it right by the router, okay? So you can see my phone is directly by my router, and then find the app on the phone called Speed Test, all right? And if you don't have Speed Test, you can go to the App Store and download it. It's very easy to find. And so I'm gonna run a Speed Test, and when I run the Speed Test, what I want is I wanna get at least 30 megabits down, okay? 30 megs a second. So you can see it found a server and I'm going to click go and it's going to test my internet connection. And again, for YouTube TV to be valid or for you to be able to use it, you need at least 30 down. And so you can see I'm getting well over 30 down, but if you're getting below 30, then YouTube TV probably isn't for you. Yeah. So one of my favorite things about YouTube TV is the way that you can have six accounts, one for each member of your family, two screens can be playing at any one time. So if you've got an iPhone running and you've got a, an Apple TV running, those are your two screens. Um, but you can have six members of your family on YouTube TV, but only si two things can be running at any one time. All right, so when it, you, it comes to billing on the YouTube TV, uh, it, it's very simple. The price is $49.99 a month, and that gets you every channel they offer. Now, one of the cool things I like is if I wanna pause or cancel my membership, let's say I'm gonna go out of town for a month. I just pause it for a month. They don't charge me for that month. I pick it back up the next month. The other thing I like is you can add all these other add-ons like NBA League Pass, Showtime, Stars, and it's as simple as clicking the checkbox. If you click the checkbox and then you click agree, then you've got that, that package or channel. So I'm gonna take you through the DVR real quick. When I click library, you can see all the things that I've recorded. Now, what I like about the DVR is it's unlimited record space. Also, when I go to live, you can see all the stuff that I can actually watch live. CBS, NBC, Fox, ABC, and PBS. So those would be all the channels that you would pick up with your antennas. But then you've got all the regular cable networks, ESPN, SEC Network, anything you could want to watch. I, I haven't found anything I wanted to watch that wasn't on YouTube TV. What else I like about it is it has an unlimited DVR. It's got all the local channels, no matter what area of the United States you're in. And it, it also works on any device, iPhone, laptop, uh, doesn't matter which operating system you're using. Uh, works on Apple TVs, works on smart TVs, uh, also works on Roku's. So it works on every device. I think one of the best things about it though is because Google owns YouTube and Google owns YouTube TV is their software engineers have done a wonderful job creating the app that runs it on all devices. So it works really well. If you ever had something like DirecTV Now, their app did not work well. And so it, had, it was a good service, but it didn't go well because the app didn't work. So while at heart, I'm a cord cutter, and I love the idea of hanging an antenna on my house, doing a scan and getting free TV, I don't think you can beat YouTube TV. In a lot of ways, I think it beats Sling. I think it beats 
Hulu TV. It's cheap. You can cut it off anytime you want to. Uh, the software works beautifully on any device. So if you've been looking to cut the cord and you have adequate internet and you, you really don't want to completely go away from it and go to something like an antenna, uh, but you want to quit paying your direct TV bill or you want to quit paying your dish network bill or your cable, cable bill, I think YouTube TV, if you have good internet, is a great option for you.